All right, well, I hope you had a chance to take a look at the videos that I recommended. And, um, and I, you know, I attached it, obviously, at the end of the last video. Now, here's where we're going to be, you're gonna see some really, really cool stuff in that downswing. So, we've got that set up, we've got that takeaway, the hinge, and the top of the backswing. And so now we're ready to deliver toward the target. So, because his mind is over there at the target, and then you can try this for yourself. If you were to skip a stone on water, you wanted to send a stone and skip it on the pond. Many of you are not going to realize, that I ask you, where, where was your weight shifting? And everybody says, right about here. Whereas the weight shifted first out of the gate. So the weight goes to the front leg first. Why? Well, your shoulders only have 20 degrees of range of motion. See that clavicle and scapula sit on top of the rib cage and they're strapped into position by all these muscle networks. So in order for you to go over there, well, if you don't move out of the way, you're gonna hit yourself. And that's why if you make the ball your target, then why would you shift your weight over there and clear your hips over there and finish over there if that's your target? And that's where the difference between what you see Tiger Woods about to do in this video and the average person trying to hit a golf ball or making sure they don't miss a golf ball. And that's where all those differences are. So uh, in the, one of my latest driver videos I did with Golf WRX, I'll put the, uh, the, the, the link in the description here. You'll see that my head from backswing to downswing doesn't move out of its axis. I'm not trying to keep the head still. That'd be the last thing you want to do. But because of my focus, the head must remain where it is in order to keep me in the direction I want that ball to go. So you remember that, uh, that guy with the gray cap behind Tiger's head? Well, here we go. So we start the backswing. Now we're gonna to go to the target. You see tar Tiger go to the ground. You see that nice squat? And then he's using the ground. So now that he's on that left side, see that right foot starts to come off the ground right now. That's something he's always done. And then notice as he's coming into the shot, that head's not moving forward. Uh, if you look back at a video I did with Jordan Spieth missing the cut uh, at the Sony, you'll see that one of the things that he does is because he's so technical right now in his swing, he's losing focus on his target on many of the shots he's on the golf course with, and then he gets way out in front of the ball and blocks it way right. So when Tiger is staying with his shot because he's really, really good at that when things are feeling good for him. So I'm going to the target, the brain goes to the ground, uses the ground to get the body out of the way, and here's, coming into the shot, you can see the lag is fantastic, the head staying back, and then from there, everything's releasing in the direction that he wants to start the ball. And you get this beautiful extension in that direction. So when your focus is on the target, going back to that skipping of the stone, I wanna skip the stone across the pond towards an elm tree, all right, or a weeping willow on the other side. So I have a direction that I'm gonna skip it on. I can see the stone skipping on the pond and off it goes. So notice I didn't throw it, I didn't spew it in either direction. I threw it exactly at the center line of this net where I was aiming. And the brain says, oh, you wanna skip that way? Well, I'm gonna to have to shift about now and I have to turn my body out of the way about that much so that we have access to that. Now, if your setup matches the picture the way Tiger's does, so here's a, a really good example. You see him hitting this gorgeous five wood, big cut into, that, uh, into the green for a, for a gorgeous eagle. So you can see, let's say there's where the target is behind the bunker, and he's lined up to the left center of the green. So his setup matches the picture, his takeaway matches the picture, his top of backswing matches the picture, and he's delivering in the direction he wants to start the ball. He stayed with that sucker the whole time and never let go, like a pit bull. So 
when he's able to effortlessly stay with his picture, both mentally and physically, you see brilliance, you see eagles, you see easy birdies. But when he's trying too hard, you can see the steam coming out of his ears and he's trying too hard and he's trying to force it, that's where you'll typically make mistakes. So we have our target down the left center and we have a takeaway, top of backswing that matches. Now we're, we're continuing our merry way down the left center of the fairway. Brain goes to the ground, uses the ground to get the body out of the way, and then we get this gorgeous release in that direction. And this is where things need to happen for many of you. Please don't try to keep your head down. Because when you keep your head down, you're just gonna drag yourself into the dirt and that's gonna cause you pain, injury, and, and then obviously after a while, after hurting yourself, the brain's gonna stop going hard in that direction and it's gonna you know, take away a lot of your juice. So you'll see Tiger letting his head come up with that shot and you'll notice when he finishes, he's finishing nicely stacked. Everything is you know, head, shoulders, hip, knee, hips, knees, and ankle. You can see that if I finished this way, I'd have a lot of strain in my abs, my lower back, my legs. Whereas here, it feels, everything feels relaxed. So he's swinging wonderfully into his picture and he's allowing himself to go with the shot so that he doesn't injure himself any further, okay? So let me see if I can put one together for you. I'm going left center, so I'm aiming a little more left. This takeaway fits. That's way too inside. That's way too outside. So, takeaway top. Let myself deliver in the direction I want to start that ball. So, finished in really nice balance. And you'll notice that in the downswing, just like in Tiger's situation, you'll see that head doesn't move forward at all. Everything is unwinding around such a steady axis. And because, you know, you saw in that, hopefully you saw the video about the weight shift walking. So if I'm walking and swinging the club, we call that the elephant walk in wisdom and golf. Notice how the weight never goes to the outside of my feet or even on top of my feet. And you can see how my head is staying wonderfully centered between my feet as I'm performing that exercise. So I got my intermediate point. I have my direction. I have my visual right now. I'm feeling how I'm staying in the direction I want that ball to go. So I'm gathering and then I'm releasing in the direction I want that ball to go. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, stay tuned for next week where we're going to examine his routine and how it's helping him not only polish his swing, but the things you want to look forward to in order to maximize your consistency out on that golf course so that you're able to stay with your shots. And by the way, that's the most important stat in golf. Out of the 36 full swings that you performed on the golf course today, how many did you stay with? How many did you black out on? See you soon.